What up, y'all? Be here with the homie Amir again to play yeah. with some iPhone stuff. What are we playing with today, Amir? Well, we got a thermal imaging camera here for us. We're gonna test it out, see what it can do. Uh, I don't know if you ever use one of these, but they're pretty cool. And find some practical applications around the house, outside, or just having some fun. Yeah, so let's get into it. All right, Brendan, so what do you know about the company FLIR? Because I don't know anything. Well, it's funny, I actually came upon learning about FLIR because I'm a professional drone pilot. And I've actually been hired to do some kind of inspection sometimes that involve thermal cameras. And FLIR is the company that actually works with DJI, the biggest drone company, to make thermal cameras. So for the Inspire 1 and the Matrice 210, there is a FLIR thermal camera that you can attach to the drone to be able to do those kind of inspections. And after I learned about that, I kind of looked into the company and the website. And I've also hired people to do kind of like, uh, like normally like, guys that work on air conditioning units or like heating units for your house, uh, mm -hmm. they normally have these little things that have like little laser pointers on them and they go around and they point the laser pointer at each one of your, your vents this, to see. Yeah. I've what definitely seen that. You've seen that, those are FLIR. Pretty much anything that involves like like thermal recognition or thermal cameras to be able to read stuff, based on whatever different kind of readings, they have a huge range of like products. It was like, you know, up to like forty, eighty thousand dollar can't super precise, you know, thermal cameras down to iPhone cameras that can give you thermal readouts. It might not be as precise, but you know, you don't always need to have that super precise measurements. Yeah. FLIR is like pretty much, as far as I know, the one like the one-stop shop for any kind of thermal measurement in a lens or in a camera. So Amir, why would somebody need a thermal camera for their phone? Well, uh, outside of just like having fun with it and you know, testing out on your friends or whatever, um, you can actually use this around your house and find, you know, things that could be a problem, such as heat escaping through windows or cracks or anything like that, or even leaks in the walls because you can see where the heat disbursement is. Uh, you can also use it with your car and if you're having some problems with that. Everything's going to be focused around heat, but heat can cause issues and it can also be, you know, lead you to see where those issues are starting, such as if you're into engineering and you want to work on your computer or anything like that, and you're building these kind of things, you're like, well, where's my heat going? Or is my computer overheating? And you're not able to share, are your fans cooling your processors right? You can test all these kind of things with using a thermal imaging camera. Wow. So nerdy people and engineers. Yes. And people who like to build things with their hands. And also people who might have, or a homeowner, honestly, if you're having issues at home, and he's like, man, my house doesn't stay warm enough in the wintertime. I mean, but it's pretty cool. Like, this is the whole thing, right? Yeah, that's it. You just literally plug it up to your phone, check it, you know, cut it on. Bam. Go to the app. And then you can just start going in from there. I actually had the chance to take this with me um, to the jungle in uh, Peru and Brazil and was able to find out a couple things that I never would have guessed that you would actually be able to find. Number one is that termite nests are really hot. Um, oh. Yeah, <laughs> had no idea. <laughs> like I'm just known that. yeah, exactly. Like I was just like playing with it and like scanning through spaces like while we're in like the middle of the jungle, and I'm like, what is that giant ball of hot thing? I'm like, it just looks like a tree, and they were like, you stay away from that. That is a termite nest, mm. and you don't want to mess with that. I'm like, oh, easy to identify. All right, so it looks like oh, there's only one button on this thing, and a little yeah. spinny wheel. Yeah, so Where the wheel uh, helps you for different cases. It helps you like bring this little port part up and down. I'm trying. My, I think I went too tight. Let's go this way. And I'm oh my God. Go I had this in the jungle the whole time. I had no idea. I thought I was like changing the focus. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I so really, really did. For, like, if you case, like, oh, it's like, I got this case on my phone. It wouldn't fit if I have it all the way down like this. So it extends, the, it extends like, the lightning the port. port. Yep. I knew that. I was just testing you. Good job. So also there's a button on the bottom that uh, you can turn it on and off with. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what it is. It has an internal battery. Yep. Um, so you do have to charge it. Yep. You got to charge it with just a regular micro USB charger, right? No, that's uh, USB-C actually. Oh, that's what I said. Well, either way, this thing also has an app. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. It's uh, just, it's free, right? Yep, free app. So it's a free app. So pretty much when you plug it into your phone, you get like a screen that's like, yo, plug in the thing, turn this on, you plug it in. Yep. And then it immediately gives you, uh, well, not immediately, it takes a few seconds, but it, it like pretty much reads this. And then it shows you uh, a thermal readout. So what we're going to do today, or by we, I mean he is going to do today, is he's going to show us a couple of the applications of where this might be useful, or just kind of what some things that look cool that you might be looking at with a thermal camera. Because if you don't have a use case for this, you don't own a house, you don't, you're not an engineer, you're not building things, and you're not doing electrical work, you probably don't need it, but it could still be fun. So yeah, let's go take a look about, you go around and play with it really quick and talk us through what you're doing. Cool? Cool.
All right, Amir, thank you so much for like showing us around with that. Was that fun? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually get to see like what the temperature actually is for some of these things. It's like, oh, I didn't know that, or I didn't realize the phones could get that hot. So there are a few cons with this thermal imaging camera. Okay. Um, on my end, I've experienced issues where the camera just completely stops working midway through what I'm doing. It's just walking around and all of a sudden it just stops working. I cut it on and off and it's not working again. I'm not sure what's going on. Battery's not dead, I fully charged it. So I'm not sure why that is. The app also has a pretty bad rating, it's like two and a half stars. Oof. When it works, it works. But when it's not working, then it's like, I have no idea what to do. Maybe that's the reason for the rating. Well, I mean, for me, I'd say one of the pros, first of all, uh, is this case. I actually love this case. It's like the microphone case. <laughs> it is, it is like the microphone. You yeah. guys gotta check out the microphone review. We did like an iPhone mic review. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It holds the co charging cord, it holds this thing, protects it. And I just, I personally, when something comes with a case that's gonna last forever, makes me happy. But the con that I've gotten is the battery life isn't exactly what I want it to be. It doesn't last that long. And it takes a while to charge it if, it if you let it die. And normally this isn't something that someone like me is gonna use on a consistent basis. So when I wanna pull it out real quick and use it, it's like, oh wait, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta charge it. It's gonna yeah. take some time. Hold on guys. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> just uh, pause. And sometimes it's hard to know when you're turning it on. Like you press the button and you think it's on and you're like, oh, is it blinking green yet? No, okay, is it orange? Is it on? I don't know. Then you plug it in and sometimes it'll tell you, sometimes it won't. So it can be a little confusing, but overall, I mean, it works. Like that's really what it comes down to. It works if you really do want to know the temperature of the things around you. This is definitely a good tool to help with that. All right, so Amir, how much does this thing even cost? Uh, it's $200, oh. which is, it could seem a little steep, but for its practical applications and what it could potentially save you as far as helping you out around the house or just in general, $200 might not be a lot. All right, dope. Well, you guys, if you want to see any more of Amir's Tech Time stuff where he pretty much breaks down accessories and iPhone stuff with me um, on the channel, we got more of that. Or you could check out just the intro video to this channel because it's pretty fly. Haha, <laughs> that was a pun. As always, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notifications for this channel. And we look forward to seeing you soon.